Well, the time has come, finally, that the, uh, well, the time has come that the ice has finally gone on the lake. <laughs> so uh, people are finally at their boats out again. But uh, I think you guys are waiting for, um, for this shot here. <laughs> uh, so this is my uh, 2020 Husqvarna 701 long range. Um, long range does a couple of things. For those of you that are you know, just finding this video through YouTube or Google, uh, long range adds a front tank, OEM front tank. Uh, it, it, it over doubles the fuel capacity so you still have a rear and a front tank. Um, the long range also uh, gives you, well, <laughs> fairings and say LR. Uh, it gives you this button right here, and this button right here uh, allows you to choose between the front tank or the rear tank. Uh, and each tank has its own fuel filter, fuel pump, hosing, everything. So um, as soon as your fuel light comes on, you push a button, and you're in the other tank. Pretty cool. Uh, everything else about this is identical to the 701 Enduro. So... Um, you're not going to get much different from an Enduro that you buy, you know, from a, from a store, uh, if you can find one. <laughs> so, um, this video is being called, uh, I installed everything on my 701 Enduro LR. And so I'm going to give you the tour to the best of my ability without notes. Those of you who follow the channel, there's a playlist on my channel, a 701 playlist that has now 50 videos. Uh, 48 of which are modifications and farkles. So there are 48 farkles in this bike, and we're going to go through as many as I can remember. Uh, we're going to start in the very rear, and we'll move forward from there. Wish me luck. Uh, so the Perun Moto uh, rear rack plus and larger is here. These are two farkles. The Vanash Motorsports um, uh, rear fuel uh, cap. You've got your wings uh, exhaust in carbon fiber with the Moscow Moto plates for the Reckless 80 is here. Uh, we've got a carbon fiber Husqvarna Power Parts um, uh, header cover, which uh, just looks nicer versus the aluminum. And then coming back here, we've got very little on this side, actually. I'm still running the OEM drive chain sprockets, but that will change. Uh, I've got a sponsor who is going to give me uh, the front and rear drive once these wear through. Uh, we've got the Perun Moto uh, heel guards, which also work great for your soft luggage, and then the IMS Rally foot pegs here and the Vanash Motorsport um, side stand enlarger here. <laughs> uh, we've got the Vanash Motorsport um, chain guard, spark guard here. You see the recluse um, clutch slave cylinder right there, the Tecmo carbon fiber guard, and the hammerhead uh, size 13 shoe shifter. It's the plus 15, I think, from there. And that's all from this side, I think. Other side. Uh, we'll run the back. We've got the Rottweiler tail tidy with LED uh, brake lights and turn signals. Very, very bright. Super nice. Still running the OEM tkc 80s This bike only has 16 miles on the odometer. Only 16 miles. Can you believe that? Uh, under here, we've got the Vanash Motorsport rear uh, fin guard right there just uh, for the brakes. Another Perun Moto thing, and then the IMS Rally foot peg. Uh, the Tecmo clutch cover is here in carbon fiber. You've got a Husqvarna Power Part oil filler. You've got a Vanash uh, brake lever right here. And if you come underneath, you've got the Vanash Motorsport uh, skid plate. It's this awesome plastic material, and it runs all the way back down flat with these awesome submerged screws back down to your uh, brake cylinder back here and it does cover it pretty well right there uh, inside we've got the uh, pro shift kit uh, that and that eliminates false neutrals basically and we also have inside of here a recluse core exp uh, auto clutch uh, if you spot closely you'll see we do have an x trig right there a preload adjuster which is there to make it easier to increase preload when i add uh, luggage to the rear also on the rear, we did uh, a larger Husqvarna, or I guess WP spring for my weight, I weigh 250, as well as a revalve uh, and full disassembly and, and reassembly of this OEM shock absorber. 
we also have here the uh, Rottweiler SAS uh, charcoal canister delete kit. The charcoal canister on the 701LR is actually stored behind here. You might be able to see where it was if I go into there enough, but anyway, it was under here. It was very heavy and it's, it's gone now. Uh, and we've got a little bit of apparatus right there stored away from where that used to live. All right, let's continue on, I guess. Um, giant loop uh, tank bag it is the uh, Diablo. Underneath it is another Vanash Motorsport um, uh, fuel filler cap. And actually, I have to remove this in order to show you guys more Farkles. So we'll just take this off right here, throw this back. There's your Vanash beast right there. You've got your Scott's steering stabilizer. Uh, and this is made possible by the uh, Vanash riser kit that has a 15 millimeter rise uh, and makes room for the uh, Scott steering stabilizer bracket right there. Uh, KTM power parts heated grips, uh, double take enduro mirrors on the ram mounts, uh, ASV clutch and brake levers that are fully adjustable and unbreakable. You've got your Husqvarna power parts uh, blue um, clutch uh, cover. You've got your bark busters that are also branded Husqvarna right here. As we come around this way, you've got the uh, heated grips controller right there. Keep going across. Uh, power parts uh, USB port right there that plugs into uh, one of the plugs behind the headlight housing. Uh, coming up, we've got our Touratech Zumo XT locking GPS mount as, long, as well as a Zumo XT uh, fitted here on this uh, Rally Motorsports um, bracket right there, which is super nice, convenient, and you can still see your Speedo when you're sitting on the seat. And moving over here more, we've got our uh, ram mount that is holding a um, uh, juiced squeeze, which is a 15-watt Qi charger and a, and a Honda Garage Perfect Squeeze on the Buzzkill, which allows this to move around vibration so you don't kill your camera, but it wirelessly charges. Over here is the uh, ASV brake lever right there, uh, your Atlas throttle lock, uh, which is just nice and convenient. You close here, click this button, it holds it in place, and then you put this button to kill it. Pretty nice. And then you've got the uh, cover here for the, uh, the brake reservoir. And then you guys probably noticed, if you looked closely, I've got two really different looking uh, cartridges for my front forks. Well, that's because this has the uh, WP Pro 6500 cartridge conversion kit. Uh, revalved and resprung to my weight, but this is that uh, $1,300 uh, WP Pro cartridge kit that they sell for the 690 slash 701. Um, done by Solid Performance, by the way. Really enjoyed working with those guys over there. Uh, one thing that's missing from this is um, the uh, uh, Cyclops LED turn signals. These have been back ordered since February. And I got tired of waiting and decided to just put it all back together. But these will be replaced soon with the Cyclops turn signals. Uh, you've got your Puig. Um, let's give you a whole view here of the front. You've got your Puig uh, windscreen on the front here. Just a little bit of wind protection, but also kind of protects some of these components we have back here, like the lock here and the RMS thing. Uh, you've got your Epic Baja Designs S2 and Baja Squadron Pro kit plug and play from Moto Minded. Really nice. Um, Coming down, we've got the uh, Nomad front ABS brake reservoir guard. We've got the Rad Guard for, uh, from Rad Guard, another radiator guard right there. Uh, and then a better view here of the, uh, the skid plate. Oh, yeah, let's keep going. Oh, we also have the, uh, the Rottweiler fuel dongle, which is put right here. Uh, and that fuel dongle means that you don't have to run an O2 sensor. So I have no O2 sensor coming out of my header right there. No O2 sensor at all. I'm going to pause for a second here, uh, not to show you the under seat stuff. I'm going to stop here and show you guys the luggage options because Heather dropped by with her car and I was able to put this stuff on. So, um, okay, so two things, obviously the giant loop. So the, the giant loop bag, you can unzip it here to access your front fuel tank. If you open this up, you've got a little map pocket in here. It's a uh, waterproof. Uh, welded construction. You've got a uh, little storage options in there. This is their brand new Fandango. Uh, you've got a little bit of another pocket there and a whole bunch of storage. Yeah, fully waterproof, which is great. And I think it fits, I think it fits, it's larger than Diablo, I think. I think this is the bigger one. Uh, it fits well on the bike, in my opinion. Um, the last bit of luggage 
that we have for now. And you'll see here how this is a little bit off kilter on the right side. Uh, I need to make that horseshoe come up a little bit. I think this is set to three and this is set to two and a half. I need to come to three, I think, to make it fit perfectly. But this is the Moscomoto Reckless 80. And uh, it's the orange edition, which just means everything's orange. Um, so you've got your 22 liter top back here. This is how it fits up to the Perun Moto uh, tail harness. And then you've got plenty of seat room here. And by the way, you can unclip this, yank this off, and you've got access to your rear tank. It only takes a second or two. Here's how it looks on the Husky. Trying to fall off the ledge here. So there's how that looks. This is kind of, I don't run luggage full time. Um, so this is kind of the, um, you know, the three or four day setup here. Uh, and this does count towards the Farkles, <laughs> of course. But uh, you can see how this looks. And now uh, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna cut to the, um, the stuff off the bike. And I'll show you guys what's underneath the seat. That's the last little humdinger here. One thing to note though, is with the giant loop and the Moscow Reckless 80 installed, you really can't get to the underseat storage. So the underseat storage, I'll show you guys in a second, is really that kind of like lightweight uh, off-road day storage. Because once you have this stuff set up in adventure mode, you really don't have, you have to use this kind of as your storage. You can't go underneath the seat anymore. Something to keep in mind if you guys are thinking about putting the, uh, the Reckless 80 on this bike. It don't look good. All right, I'll get right back to you guys. So with the 22 liter off, by the way, you can see you've got the access to the, uh, the, fuel, fuel, the fuel cap here. Uh, so it's a little bit annoying. I mean, you got basically one, two, three clips, and then you just grab the thing by the thing and just rip it off, and it's just these two zippers right here, Velcros, and then you have access to it right there. All right, so now with the, with the uh, Diablo loosened up here, as you can see, and the seat off, a couple things to show you. This is the uh, Husqvarna KTM ABS dongle. This disables permanently ABS to the rear wheel. Um, so it's more of an off-road bias thing. Just note when you install this, it will flash you constantly to say, hey buddy, hey buddy, watch out. <laughs> uh, we got the Raid Garage uh, air filter here. So you'll see this replaces that massive air box and instead gives you this beautiful storage tray that goes, <laughs> it goes all the way up to the, uh, the front of the frame. And you've just got a ton of storage down, down here. I've got a little USB port hiding in there, all kinds of little storage options. And uh, that lives, you know, there where the airbox used to be, the OEM one. And then other than that, the last Farkle that you can't see that's on here is the, geez, uh, is the uh, anti-gravity uh, lightweight lithium ion battery that's tucked under here. It saves like three pounds over the OEM battery, which you know, it, at, at my weight and my Farkle count and my fuel amount, three pounds is nothing. Uh, but why not? While you're in there. Uh, that's pretty much it. Oh, yeah, one more thing I didn't know to throw this out. Um, this uh, uh, Rally Raid uh, oil pressure hose, it's braided as a replacement to the rubber one. That's got to be it. There's got to be something else in here I can't remember, but that, that's all I can think of right now. <laughs> I'm kind of out of, uh, out of steam. Uh, this is a long video. This, all, this is always a long video. Every time I do one of these, it's like a 20 minute long video. But, you know, when I, when, when someone buys, and this isn't me gloating, this is just me being like, uh, what's the word, self-deprecating. Uh, when someone buys a $12,500 motorcycle and then puts $10,000 of stuff into it, they're allowed to make a 20 minute long video. Just saying. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. Uh, I'll leave you with one more shot. I'm taking a, a Class 6 road, which is a uh, unmaintained road home. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll take Class 6 road home, and I'll show you a, a picture of the bike or a video of the bike in its natural habitat. Appreciate you guys watching. And uh, th those of you that follow the build, it's really incredible. Uh, we had, I, th I think the count was like three, no, 30,000 hours. 30,000 hours of watch time of my Husqvarna 701LR built. 30,000 hours of viewer watch time. Uh, it's just amazing that you guys watch these videos. Thank you. And um, I hope that you get one of these. And if you haven't already, they probably can't because they're all sold out. <laughs> but most of what I did applies to the regular 701 Enduro. So, um, all right, guys.
ride safe, have a great year, have a great 2021, and I uh, hope to see you out on the trail, at the rallies, on the road, etc. Be safe.